Hi, Bill from Polygon here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install and set up the Polygon add-on in Blender. Now, if you haven't already, you'll need to navigate to our download page. The uh, link is in the video description. Uh, once there, just click on this download button and download the latest .zip file. Now, back over in Blender, now that we have that downloaded, let's go to Edit and then Preferences. And then from there, we want to navigate to the add-on panel, uh, the add-on panel at the side here, and then click Install. From there, we can select the zip file, click Install Add-on, and that will bring up the uh, the add-on in the list here, which means it's been installed successfully. All we have to do now is enable it by clicking this little box. Now, the first thing we need to do is indicate to the add-on where we want it to store our assets. And there's this library feature here. Now, because I've installed this previously, it's actually already got a directory, um, but you just click it, navigate to the directory or create one, and then hit Polygon Library. Cool, now there's a lot of other settings in here, uh, but we'll be covering those in a later video. Um, for now, that's the, the, the only thing we have to adjust immediately. So with that done, let's go back to the viewport, hit N, and that will bring up our properties panel. And then along the tabs, we have a polygon one now. Yeah. So we need to log in. So I'm going to do that now. Just type in your details, just like you would on the website, and then hit login. So once logged in, you'll be greeted with this page. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail at all here. Um, please watch the following video to uh, to learn all the ins and outs of the add-on. I just want to get you started by setting up a material. So let's add in a uh, plane, like so. And then we're going to search for something. So I'm going to search for, I don't know, wood flooring. That will bring up all the results for wood flooring. And then if we scroll to the bottom here, we have the different pages of the results, or we can use the arrows to navigate through them like so. But let's just um, pick a asset, let's say this one. Now I've not purchased this yet, so I'm gonna purchase it now. And then you'll notice this button changes to a bar to display the status of the download. So when you purchase something, it will purchase it and download it. Now, I might have an example here while that's downloading of, yes, so this asset I've already purchased, but I've not downloaded it because I've just installed the add-on. Um, so instead of saying purchase, it says download. And it, as you imagine, you click on that and it will download the asset. So any of the ones you've already purchased will have download um, underneath. So let's jump back to where we were on our little download. And there we are. And I'll just wait for that to finish. And now that it's downloaded, you'll notice that the button has changed to apply. Now it says apply 4K. That's because by default, it's uh, downloading at 4K, but you can select other resolutions to download. But yes, let's uh, make sure our plane selected, hit apply, and then we should see our asset applied to our object. Excellent. Okay, so that's it for the video today. Uh, just, a, just a quick installation one. Um, Please watch the following video for a full breakdown of everything that this new add-on can do.